Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Savage Traveling. I'm in my $13 a night room here in Bangkok, Thailand. Ah, I just wanted to show you a little bit about what I got here. I considered it a pretty good deal. Uh, it's small, quaint. Uh, the people downstairs are real nice. We got TV, aircon, microwave, refrigerator, safe, some kind of air purifier, some trash, nice little love seat here. Nice, firm, extremely comfortable bed, like perfect firmness for me. Uh -huh. Nice boutique style room. Um, you got the old sliding barn door here for the shower, toilet and such. Uh, my only complaint here is, uh, you see here, not very much room. So when you step up into this tub, um, I, I, I can't stand up. And uh, we're just gonna take a, sh a bath later. I forego the shower this morning and I'll sort it out later when I am not in the mood to make video, you know what I'm saying? So uh, other than that, I really dig the place. Um, especially for $13 a night now. Um, I believe it cost a little more, you know, before the pandemic and such, but I'm not quite sure. I was under the, mis the impression that it was an extremely expensive place when I booked it, but I could either have been looking at something else or totally just assumed something that's not true. But anyways, I think $13 a night is a great deal. Uh, I wouldn't pay a whole lot more for it if I don't have to. Uh, but I, I assume it's a little bit more during regular times. So, um, yeah, nice comfy. The air is perfect. Like I best night of sleep I've had since I got here. Like I was in quarantine for eight nights and I didn't sleep, but more than four hours every night. So last night I slept like two, four or five hour sessions and I'm, I feel great. I'm ready to go out and walk the city and we're going to find out what things cost here in Bangkok during the 2021 coronavirus pandemic, because, uh, Things have changed. Uh, I think things are a little more expensive outside of the rooms. Uh, I did notice like different food establishments that I frequented in the past. Now everybody's carry out, so they're adding their little delivery charges and whatnot. So, uh, you know, things change. It's 21st century guys. So I'm gonna get my stuff around here and I'm gonna take you all out and I'll walk down through the lobby and then outside and then we're gonna start seeing what the price of things in Bangkok are. So uh, stay with you guys. All right, guys, here we go. service elevator right there. That's what it looks like on the outside. Adagio. Alright guys, let's go find the price of stuff. <laughs> Basically, I'm out looking for food and if I make it to a mall, maybe like a t-shirt, something, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to show you all kinds of cool stuff today, so stay tuned. Basically, the only things open are essentials. Um, no massage, no bars, takeaway restaurants, you know. Sixty-five baht, sixty-five fifty-five, or you know, some fresh drink. Um, the rest of the uh, grocery stores are open, you know. Um, way more lottery sellers out than uh, 
I ever remember. Like everybody must have just went and started selling lottery, you know. Or if they couldn't do what they were doing, they must have said, well, let's sell lottery. It's a work truck or a party bus, but being there's a construction site right there, I would assume it's for that. Yep. Found this place called Prime Burger. They got a menu out. Check that out real quick. I think that's just drinks. Might have to get one of those later. Got postcards for 10 bot. Fair deal, what, like 30 cents? I don't know what stamps cost. Here you go. There's a, I don't know, what, $300 for a suit? Probably not bad if it's quality, I don't know. It's the coconut eating health. You got your cannabis herb shakes or drinks. High and fly, 119 baht. Happier honey and lemon, 119 baht. Cheerful berry, 119. CBD Gano. And then nice dream coconut uh, with Siam cannabis, 119 baht. I guess they all got Siam cannabis. Well, that's cool the juice three for 109 i'll put up some conversions if you don't know the conversion it's like 30 baht to the dollar right now so whatever it says say it was like a 100 baht you just times it times three and that's like three bucks it's pretty simple but it's awesome to see they got the the ganja going Looks like fuel, looks like the good stuff costs you about 35, 36 baht for a liter. The cheap stuff about 26 and a half for a liter. So, you know, right around a dollar a liter, give or take. Oh, well, there's some prices. All fairly inexpensive, all under a dollar. Everything there was under 30 baht. Uh, none of it was in English, but you know. Here's a banana. 20 bucks. On this little place. I just want to look at your menu for a second. But, you know, 20 baht, 20 baht, 20 baht, 50, 50, 50, 50 30, 30. Japanese rolls with nigiri, 120. Salmon, teriyaki, garlic rice, sweet egg, and fried chicken, a, uh, 160 baht. All fairly priced. Said you shouldn't starve here, even if you only got a couple bucks, but you know. Bathing suits and masks, t shirts, under drawers. Uh, the pharmacy. There you go. 20 baht, uh, 150 baht. Can I get 
70 baht kilo sweet mango. 20 baht for banana. That's the Thai food here. Stuff is like my favorite thing in the world. Uh, Lifesaver.
ิซ่าการให้แรงกระโปรงสุขสูงพิเศษที่สั่งพิซซ่าขาดใหญ่จากหักขึ้นไปแต่ราคาปกติ499บาทเหลือเพียงผ่านร้าน199บาทเท่านั้นอินคุ้มอยู่ใจดับโบได้ดีสีหน้าสั่งความอร่อยด้วยแล้ววันนี้ทุกวันเดินด้วยพิซซ่าในหกถึงสองเพื่อสั่งครบสั่งร้านพิซซ่าส่งฟรีเหมือนเดิมนะอันนี้คือร้านอาหารที่ผมเดินทางไปนั่นแหละร้านอาหารที่ผมเดินทางไปนั่นแหละร้านอาหารที่ผมเดินทางไปนั่นแหละร้านอาหารที่ผมเดินทางไปนั่นแหละ This restaurant called Beer Republic Brews and Bites. It's closed, I assume, because of the pandemic or the restrictions. But for 900 baht, so just right under 30 bucks, you get like a four-course meal. Apparently, well, a Thai lunch set. So a little more uh, high society there, but still, I mean, compared to the states, depends. I'm pretty sure it's a you know four different sets. So like. I'm sure you'll be full. It looks good. I mean, I bet the air conditioner works well when it's on. <laughs> you know. <laughs> nice. Cool. Little flat tops there. Here's a, if you want your nails done. Get your nails did. I don't even know if they're allowed to be open. Probably not. Uh, All right, guys, I got a t-shirt. I don't want to get uh, yelled at for the camera again, so I'm just gonna make this quick. But uh, I got it for 600 baht. So I mean, 200 baht so it was like about six dollars. Um, it's hard times around here, so I'm not arguing prices. She said it was normal price 250. I'll give it to you for 200. I said that was a great deal. It's in here, I'm gonna change out and I'll show you guys up here in a little bit. But, uh, it's pretty desolate up around here and if you're in town and you wanna come and spend some money, this would be the place to do it. They need it. Collection of clothes, not too out of the question. Get my phone worked on for a minute. I needed a new uh, screen cover. Okay, guys, for 150 baht, I got a new uh, phone screen put on. They had to like custom cut it, and then it looks great. Uh, worth the 450 or whatever it costs to get it done so 
because I couldn't even find them online yet because it's such a new phone. But so he had to custom make me one because I don't like the big tempered glass that they, you can buy. I want the, just the thin little piece of plastic. So you can get anything here at MBK Mall. All right, guys, I scored this mango smoothie for 85 baht. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I just picked up my two pretzels and Sprite. It was 95 baht, so just a little under $3, and I got two salted buttery pretzels and a little Sprite. So I'm a little snack, and then I'm gonna hit the, uh, the rain has stopped, and we're gonna hit the street and uh, see what else we can find. So uh, stay tuned. Okay guys, I just took a seriously like an hour long bike ride, as you saw. I know I know you didn't see all of it because literally my phone died or my camera died about 35 minutes in. But it was a good little ride around. I never saw the big Buddha I was looking for. Uh, if it's here, I don't really know yet. Um, I just got these two bottles of water in there at the 7-Eleven for 50, 14 baht. So that's literally 50 cents for two or these 16 ounces or whatever. So. Um, that's a little bit of my day guys i just wanted to bring you along 
show you what I had in store for today. Oh, you're fine. But, uh, you know, it's just Bangkok, Thailand. It's, it's still as cheap as you can make it, you know? Literally, that dude rode me around on his motorbike for like an hour, just probably because he was bored. I gave him 200 baht, so $6 for an hour long bike ride. He showed me the Grand Palace. He showed me everything. So, you know, that's what a typical day costs in Bangkok if you're just joking around, not really doing anything spectacular, you know what I mean? Uh, it's still a great, affordable place to have a good time. So, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope this video was as much as you thought it could be. So, I'm gonna go shoot another video right after this because that's what I'm out doing today. So, anyways, guys, it's this isn't Twitch. It is free to subscribe. It is also free to hit that little bell icon, and then you get notifications direct to your phone every time I upload a video. So, if you're into that, give it a try. And if not, you know, I'll see you on the next one. All right. So, uh, thanks for watching. This has been Zach with Savage Traveling, exploring big, beautiful Bangkok, Thailand. Peace. Thank you.